Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the political implications connected to the Supreme Court's decision regarding presidential immunity. We're going to talk about what that decision means for American politics. Because while from the Supreme Court's position, well, all they did was issue a decision. In the process, intentionally or not, they created a campaign issue, an election issue. And realistically, it's now the only one that matters. Because they granted the president such sweeping immunity that the American people now have to decide who they trust with almost unfettered power. And that issue has to override all of the other ones. And the American people have to get this answer right. And they have to get it right in every election until this decision is either overturned or the lines between official and unofficial acts become abundantly clear. Because if the American people elect somebody who has authoritarian tendencies and those lines aren't clear, that person will try to push the envelope of their immunity. This is now the most important election issue. It has to supersede all of the other ones. The American people now are no longer choosing between two candidates that they really don't like, as many of the previous election cycles have been. They're trying to make a determination on which one is less likely to become a tyrant. It is worth noting that Biden has this sweeping immunity now. At this moment, he has been granted it. I hope you read the dissents. There are a lot of people who are unhappy, and I understand it. But this is the decision that came down. And the downstream effects from this decision can be huge. The President of the United States has power unparalleled in American history now. It is something that the American voter has to understand. And that understanding has to figure in to their decision making when it comes to their vote. This has to be above the economy in all of the things that people normally talk about. The U.S. can't elect an authoritarian or somebody with authoritarian tendencies who has this level of immunity. Not if they expect the American experiment to continue. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.